Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Droid Assault. This is by Puppy Games. They have a very specific agenda in mind. They do one thing, and that thing is to make arcade games that are retro-inspired. This is their fourth. They've made Omnitron, they made Titan Attacks, and they made Revenge of the Titans. Omnitron, if I recall correctly, was a Robotron-style game. You then had Titan Attacks, which was basically Space Invaders, and then you had this RTS kind of tower defense hybrid game by the name of Revenge of the Titans, which was really, really good, actually, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. It really was. They did make some changes in patches that I didn't agree with, but the game itself was really fun. Titan Attacks was good, too, for a little cheap sort of Space Invaders clone. Droid Assault, on the other hand, is based on a lesser-known title, the Commodore 64 game Paradroid, which involved eliminating all the robots in the level, but also allowed you to hack different kinds of robots. This game allows you to do the same thing, although it is somewhat more fast-paced than Paradroid, and is significantly less obtuse in terms of its interface. As usual with puppy game stuff, it is very much an... I would say it's a 2D retro in style game, so it's a bit of a throwback, meaning that graphics options aren't really all that relevant, although it would be nice to be able to set resolution. You can have full screen or windowed, but otherwise it's going to set to whatever resolution you have your desktop at. That's slightly irritating for some people, although for the vast majority, I guess it won't really be an issue. All right, let's get into the game, shall we? Because as I said, it's pretty fast paced and fairly easy to learn, so... Yes, I would like to restore my save game, if you don't mind. All right, we are right into the game, and the game is not going to give me any time whatsoever to figure out anything. Absolutely not. So you have an army of droids, which is kind of neat. The, you can see it down at the bottom there. That is my little army of droids. And each of these droids actually has different abilities. So you can switch between them by holding down the space bar. So this guy right here, he's got a shotgun. So I can roll with him if I want to kill a large number of small, weaker droids. However, he's going to be way, way less useful against more hardcore armored droids and armored turrets and things like that. This guy right here is a complete beast. He's a bit slower moving, but he's got a dual blaster, as you can see, and he's a little bit tough. I actually got this, I think, by registering for their newsletter. They offer you one. They just give you this really powerful robot right off the bat, which actually is not a good idea. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have a robot this powerful at the start. The BB-21 Battle Droid, as you can see right there. He's a bit of a toughie. We have a look through what we've got. We've got a guard bot here, just kind of very, very basic. Different kinds of guard bots are available, as you can see. This one's a little bit tougher. This guy right here, he's got a multi-blaster. That guy right there is laser shielded. So if he gets hit by lasers, I believe it bounces off. And he also has a different kind of armor, Kevlar armor, and a spreader cannon. So... The police bot is a little bit of a beast. Now, as I said before, you can take control of different bots. So if I want, I can kind of steal a bot using that. Now, in order to do that, you need transfer points. And depending on the level of the robot, that depends exactly how tr tricky it's going to be to do that. Aside from that, your bots will sort of wander around the place aimlessly. They don't really have too much of a motivation to do what you're asking them to do. But occasionally, they will just go through and completely trash the level for you. I I've beaten some levels in this game in about two seconds is quite surprising. I don't believe I can... Can I... I don't think I can capture him, actually. Do I have any transfer points? I guess I don't, so i explain why. That's unfortunate. He actually looked like a useful droid to have, but, you know, we'll deal with it. A little bit of cash. I'm not really sure how you earn transfer points. It, I, I've never really seen any indicator of that. I've got, actually, so many robots here. I can flick between them, as you can see, by just using the mouse button. So if I were to bring my battle droid in... I've somehow gained a transfer point, although, once again, I'm not really sure how I got it. Really nice effects on the screen. The distortion and things like that are pretty neat. And the graphic style is very similar to everything that these guys ever make. Ooh, bounty bullets power-ups. Now, I believe these upgrades are actually permanent, so... That's actually going to stick around, if I recall correctly. See, as you can see there, I've got Bouncy Bullets, he's EMP shield, he's got plus one size to his energy battery as well, so we can roll with him in the next level. There we go. I still only have one transfer point, though. Again, I'm not really sure how I get more. Seems like it might just be a, a points-based thing. I now have a second transfer point, so I'm going to look for a, a more, one, of the, one of the more interesting-looking robots to try and add him to my robot team. There we go. I think he was friendly. All right, he looks interesting. Oh, he's level three. Can't really do much with him. That's unfortunate. 
Oh, yep, and he, he doesn't want to let me go either. He's thinking if I just smash all this stuff up, then I should be okay. Extra, a bit of extra damage for my robot there as well, but probably won't end up having him. It's unfortunate. Who else have we got? These guys are just kind of wandering around aimlessly, so I'm going to switch over and then sort of let them actually interact and fight. Now, that is armored, so I guess I can't bust it with that. Can I bust it with this? Nope. And there we go. I can kill it with that, so that's all good. And we'll grab whatever that is. Plus one armor. Sweet. So, I think you probably get the idea pretty quickly. Destroy all the droids in the level. Grab some droids to add to your little force. Once your droids die, that's it. So, you're going to have to end up finding yourself more droids to steal. Currently have three transfer points. I'm going to roll forward here and try and find a really cool droid to steal. Most of those guys don't really seem to be all that amazing. They're just little droids, and my large stompy droid cares not for flipping tree. Although he does have some battery problems, some fairly, fairly serious ones. He burns through his battery supply quite quickly. So we'll upgrade his battery size by grabbing that. Now, this game is very similar to all of the other puppy game stuff in the sense that it's just utterly charming in the way that its graphic style is presented. Like, it's got a very specific aesthetic. They're shooting for a very very specific look and they achieve that without question you can probably see here that the 8-bit style with the nice little bits of distortions and the scan lines but otherwise a very nice clean and colorful presentation it's a really really good idea i think that thing is probably out to kill me i don't know is it apparently not i am on a rampage Ooh, right okay i can't hack him by the looks of it. I would love to hack him, but looks like I'm not going to be allowed to do that. Have some bouncy freezy bullets, which also don't work. Alright. Ow! I wish I had some friends with me. I think you get your transfer points back when you lose some droids from your army, so I guess that maybe that's got something to do with it. There we go. It's an interesting mix, really, of an arcade game with a, a few sort of light strategy elements to it, as well as the very interesting notion of persistence you don't usually find in a game like this. The fact that all of these upgrades that I've got, they kind of stick around with my character, but once I lose him, that's it. And I'm going to have to get different upgrades. I'm going to blow him. Oh, I just want to find someone interesting. He looked... These guys look all right. Here you go. I'm going to hack you. There we go. Sweet. So I've got myself a little droid there. I still actually have four transfer points, so that's cool. I want you. I don't know what you are, but you look kind of crazy. Ooh, he's got a very large rapid-fire machine gun by the looks of it. There we go. Sweet. So I've used all my transfer points, but I got myself some new droids for my army, so that's always nice. Now, the game sports about 50 levels, and as you can see, I just got onto level 11. The first few levels I absolutely blasted through with no problem whatsoever. It was quite literally a case of my droid, droid army wrecked everything within about two seconds. So what do we get? Twin blaster, multi blaster, and I still have this big-ass battle droid. As, as I said, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to actually have that, but I signed up to the newsletter, so apparently I got something that was completely overpowered, which is unfortunate. It, it'll probably scale later on in the game, but I don't really want to start off with anything overpowered. That's actually not that fun. I prefer to start off small, and especially when it comes down to a game which is focused on the notion that you have to acquire different kinds of battle droids and identify what they do and then build an army based on what you are presented with in the level and then try and keep everyone alive. It's, it's not all that fun to start with a, a robot that is very clearly superior to everything else by a country mile, even though it's a little bit slow. So I, I would certainly say that that's not something you should be doing if you decide to pick this game up. Aside from that, though, it is really enjoyable. Pretty much just like every other game that this company makes. They always make fun games one way or the other, and they always put a unique spin on the retro notion. I feel that there's all too many companies that make retro games, as it were, and they end up just not being all that fun, or they're just not really all that interesting. Now, this is one of those rare companies that can take a concept like this and can then actually do something really interesting with it without sacrificing what made it great in terms of being arcadey and fast action. I mean, this is fast action, quick thinking involved in this, but there is that nice little element of strategy. Presentation-wise, it's absolutely top-notch. It's got some really nice chip tunes going on with it. It also happens to have some fantastic graphics. I mean, obviously, it's not a very advanced-looking game, but they're not aiming to do that. That was not 
their plan. They wanted to make something look retro, and they succeeded in doing so while also modernizing it in a very, very pleasing way. This is a company that knows what they like and has continued to develop game after game, which is proving that they are masters of this particular art. And it's, it's a niche art, certainly, but it's a pretty cool art to have. They seem to create these games with a very specific idea in mind, and they pretty much hit the mark most of the time, with the exception of some of the changes they made to Revenge of the Titans. And up to this point, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's really, really enjoyable. It's a nice piece of arcade action, but it's also got this real... Oh my god. <laughs> That's so great. It's also got this really interesting strategy light element, and the persistence is almost roguelike-ish, actually. That's really, really cool. That's not the kind of thing I expected to find in a game like this, and discovering the unexpected is something that puppy games seem to do in their titles very, very well. You always come into it thinking, oh, this looks generic, and then suddenly realize it's not, <laughs> because they always have some really interesting ideas. I don't know how long the game is. I mean, I seem to be blasting through the levels pretty quickly here. I'm on level 15 out of 50. I imagine things get an awful lot harder. In fact, I mean, they're, they're pretty hard to begin with, but... I imagine things do get an awful lot harder than they currently are later on, but still, I have to wonder if this game really has any value in replayability. I mean, I suppose you can grab different droids, and apparently there's all kinds of sniper droids, assassin droids, and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. But would the game really have a lot of replayability? Well, it's got leaderboards, which would certainly help in that regard. But it's probably a game that you can get through in a few hours. Honestly, though, that's not really a, a huge reason for me not to recommend trying it because I look for interesting gaming experiences. I look for things that I can't find elsewhere because, quite frankly, I've played pretty much every kind of game there is and I've done so over and over and over again and I'm getting really, really tired of the same old crap. And what I like about puppy games is they never make that. And even if the games only last for a few hours, that's actually fine. I could play it, have a few hours worth of fun and say, you know what, I... I feel good about my experience. I feel that everything went as it should have. I feel that this was definitely worthy of my time. And every time I play one of these from this particular company, I always end up feeling that way. So I think that's certainly a fairly awesome mark of quality that these guys have. So would I recommend it? Probably. I mean, the price may be the only hang up for some of you. We're looking at... $8, 8 Aussie dollars, 8 euros, unfortunately the whole dollar to euro thing continues, and £5.59. Certainly not an expensive game by any stretch, but some people may object to a few hours of entertainment for 8 to $10. I personally don't, but you should never really discount the people that do because you've got to cater to as many different demographics as you can. Some people have more money than others, some people accept more entertainment, some people less entertainment, and so on and so forth. Ooh, max transfer points. That looks like I could capture something really interesting with this, assuming I can find anything. Looks like it's just turrets this time around, so... I'll swap over to my big stompy droid, and he will happily deal with all those. Oh, I was going to grab him, but I murdered him. Never mind. It happens every now and again. Man, he just will not die. He is an absolute beast, but he doesn't really get to shoot all that much. Thankfully, his bullets destroy everything in one hit. But yeah, I think I would recommend it. I really, really would. It's it's a good slice of arcade action with an interesting spin. It's got mechanics that I wouldn't consider gimmicky. They're actually very, very well implemented. And Rampage is hilarious. And I need more of Rampage. Oh, I want this. I want it. I don't know what it does, but I want it. Sweet. I want to actually want to finish this level now so I can find out what it is. Seems like there's actually a little teleporter in here too. I guess it... I shouldn't be shooting that. I guess it's kind of a shame that it doesn't tell you what the droids actually do and give you a bunch of stats once you grab one, but I suppose that's also a reward for keeping the sodding thing alive until the end. I think if I had actually one complaint and, you know, I'd just be digging looking for one, then that would be that the, the droids are a little unreliable in how they move. The only real way that you can guarantee that a droid's going to go the place that you want it to go is if you possess it yourself. And you can flick over using the mouse button, as you can see. It doesn't seem like you can use the number keys to do anything. I mean, this guy right here is just kind of sitting around doing nothing, which is unfortunate because there's a bunch of stuff to blow up in here. So I think that if they were to do anything with the game, it would be to improve the methods of actually controlling things. It's a military droid. Oh, yes. 
Very nice. That's my only complaint. It's great otherwise. It's super fun, just like everything this company makes, and I would strongly recommend that you have a look at it. There is a free demo available on the website. They do tend to do demos of all of their games. You can head on over to the website. Link is in the description below this video, and you can see as to whether or not this is interesting to you. As I said, I, I really like it. I think it is very nicely put together indeed. It's a bunch of fun, and once again, great retro-inspired action. My name's been Total Biscuit, taking a look at Droid Assault from Puppy Games, available now on Steam, and I will see you next time.